Hi. I'm back. <laughs> I know it's been a while, but uh, I, I swear I've put it to good use. Um, I decided that basically what I needed to do was to um, basically set up a plan ahead of time for what I wanted to stream. It's basically what I did for YouTube, and it's been working well for me there. So I've got um, monthly themes planned out for my stream for until uh, the end of 2022. <laughs> so I am not going to be trying to struggle to figure out what to do for the most part. I mean, some stuff might not take long enough, but I've got some ideas for reserve from there. Um, but uh, this month... I'm going to be starting off with the uh, PlayStation Analog Controller um, and playing a bunch of games that are compatible with that. But I also have this package that arrived that I have not, like, the, the packaging is still in place. And I wanted to open it up on camera. And I have a helper here. She's she's been nuzzling the box. <laughs> but uh she will probably want to use this box when I'm done with it. So, let's get going with that. Excuse me. And what is in this box is a uh limited run collector's edition of Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. And uh, one thing I did, I, I did look at this uh, at this card a little bit first, um, and I'm quite amused that this is number. Let's see if I can get you to see it. This is number four fourteen, and I live in the or and my phone is in the four one four area code. So I was kind of amused by that. So we'll set that aside for now. All right, paper packaging. Terry loves this stuff. <laughs> Every time I go out and I come back with a plastic bag or something, she's waiting for me to pull whatever it is out of the bag so she can play with the bag. Okay. There's the box within the box. Move this off camera, and it will probably have a cat inside of it in no time. Okay, I'm going to try to keep this upright. So, this is the Switch version, because I already have the PC version and the PS4 version. And I don't have an Xbox One, but they also didn't do an, a limited run for Xbox One anyway. So I'm like, well, I've got a Switch. Might be nice to have this for the Switch. And I absolutely love that this looks like one of the presents. It's even, it's even like got weird dimensions. Like this isn't, uh, if we look on it, at it headlong, this isn't the same width as this. <laughs> Which is kind of wild. Um, oh, wait, that's right. I've got some music to go along with this. Um, pow. Okay. So, um, let's open this up. There's plastic, obviously. And I'm surprised Teary doesn't hear me going through the plastic. All right, let's just get into it here. So I've got something to tear. Here we go. Always extremely satisfying. 
don't want Tyria getting after this, though, because it's a little too thin for uh, me to feel safe. Look at this. This is like... I, I, I absolutely love how... Like, I am a huge stickler for symmetry, but I absolutely love how this is non-symmetrical. Okay, there's... Oh, that's printed on the back. Oh, this is like a separate band that's sealing the box. Oh, that's cool. Oh, now it's not anymore. Dang. That was some weak ticky-tack there. There we go. All right. So... Open the wings, open the box, and okay, so that's yet more covering. Weird. Um, is this supposed to be just, uh, you know, as interesting to open up as the game itself? Uh, let's see. Oh, looks like it opens up from the side. Or does it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Nope. Opens up from the front. Okay, there we go. Oh, I love the little packaging paper in there. Looks all Toe Jam and Earl ish. <laughs> hey there, Infamous. You missed your lover. Uh, Terry was up here just a little while ago <laughs> helping me open this up. Alright, so there's. Put that right back there. Okay. Earthling blind box. So each of these, um, oh, that looks like it fell out of where it was supposed to be. Uh, each box came with some uh, um, unique earthling pins. So I got the, uh, let's bring that up close there. I got the ice cream truck. See what's in the other one. Oh, the wise man! Awesome! That's fantastic because I've got the wise man hanging from my uh, rear view mirror in my car. So I'm, I'm kind of pleased about that. And then I don't know if you can see it very well from there, but it's got the uh, four. You know, main characters. You got Toe Jam and Earl. You got uh, Leticia and Lashonda. So, and of course, the game itself. Put that off to the side. So now here's another fun bit. Um, they have these cardboard pieces. And I think these are for, for the pins, so that you can make a diorama. With these puzzle pieces. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that in a little bit too. Okay, here is the uh, Toe Jam and Earl soundtrack on cassette. <laughs> Which is kind of awesome. And the, uh, the cassette itself is a bright Earl orange. So that's cool. I already have the soundtrack um, because, the, uh, um, because I got the art book as part of my Kickstarter backer awards. And let's see, anything else after this? Nope, that's the bottom layer. And this would appear to be a poster. For Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove. Very cool. Put that back in there. 
tape back in there. Okay, so I'm going to... I don't think I'm going to um, poke out these cardboard bits, but I am going to open this up and uh, um, put these puzzle pieces together. Back in place. Yeah, I was wondering why this seemed like it was so loose. Like it wasn't, you know, a proper box. And I guess it's because it's just like an over box. I shouldn't necessarily bother with that too deeply. Um, I'll move this off to the side for a moment. Crack this open. You know, it's kind of funny. I, I, I almost feel like I should uh, um, give this to my mom. Cause she's been really big on puzzles lately. <clears throat> but you know what? It almost feels like they've stacked these up in order. Because these are the first five off the top. There she goes. Terry's in the box. <laughs> okay, this looks like it's going to take up a bit more room than... Uh... Oh, unless this goes... Ah, okay. That's the edge. Okay. I'll keep going as long as I've got room to do it here. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating because it's like not even challenging. There we go. But the puzzle piece thing I think is not entirely the point. Okay, almost out of pieces, which is good. Um... Go there? Yeah. There we go. So we got a nice little uh, Toe Jam and Earl world here. And. Then if we were to, uh, you know, take out the. Uh, um, the cardboard stuff we could set like the house here and the tree here and um you know i at least have one uh quote-unquote bad earthling so i'd be able to uh put the uh ice cream truck on there and run them down with it but you know we've got the uh wise man there at least so that was definitely cool um I mean, I don't often spring for collector's editions, but, you know, I've got such a history with this game and the series in general, and it's just so much, 
it they, they also did just a fantastic job with with the creativity in all of this too building puzzles with text well you know um i do plan to be playing board games at some point <clears throat> so i may do that on twitch not entirely sure if I'm going to do that on Twitch because I may just want to record whenever my friends have the time to uh, come over and play. Hey there, Fortifier. Going to be going to Ace Combat 2 shortly, but uh, I wanted to uh, do an unboxing first. And there isn't an unboxing category on Twitch. So I got the uh, Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove Limited Run Special Edition. So let's go ahead and put this back properly. Come on, there we go. Okay. So you get an unboxing and a reboxing. <laughs> um, I don't have any shrink wrap, but the heat gun is in the uh, in the get in the um, dining room. So I guess I could re shrink wrap it, but what's the point? Oh, let's put this in there too, just, you know, because otherwise it's outside of it. And, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep this out too. I may haul this out and play it at some point. In fact, wait a second. After I get all of this boxed back up, I should open that too. Really? Okay, so that should be W-I-A-N-G, and I probably would have figured it out. As it stands, W-A-A-N-G is probably uh, Washington, if anything. But that's awesome. That, that was uh, what my dad was in, was uh, in the Wisconsin Air National Guard with the 147th. I think that's what it was. It's been a while. One more thing back in place. This is the big puzzle right here. Just putting it all back together and safe in its box. All snug and warm, cozy as a button. Okay. Oh, hell yes. Dude, Forte, would you be stationed in Milwaukee then? Because there is an Air National Guard base in Milwaukee. Otherwise, if you uh, ended up out at... Uh, um, oh, what, what was that? Uh... Volk Field. That's still not too bad. It's just like a two-hour drive or so. Madison's not bad. Madison is, uh, yeah, Madison's about an hour, maybe an hour and a half drive. But uh, that wouldn't be bad at all. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and... Break the seal here. Don't look at it, Marion! So this is actually the first physical version of Toe Jam and Earl Back in the Groove I have. Which is kind of nice, because now I can put it with all the others. 
Truex Field. Wow, I hadn't heard of that one. But, you know, just outside of Madison. That works. So we got the uh, tiny uh, switch container here. Oh, there's an actual instruction manual. Oh, cool. Okay, I, I have to do this. So I don't know if you noticed, but there was an alternate case on the inside that looks like the original Genesis version. So yeah, that's getting reversed. <laughs> Cause that's so cool. <laughs> but wow, this is this is a hefty instruction manual. You you don't see many instruction manuals at all nowadays. But this let's see here. Yeah, this has uh, everything that you can see in game at least. So you know, quick reference it. But man, that's. Oh, and a little place for notes too. Look at that. That's a lot of. Uh, that's that's a lot of. Uh, that's a beefy boy. It's kind of cool that it just kind of fits right in there above the the switch cartridge. But yeah, that's that's gonna stay in that in that shape there, because that is so cool. <laughs> it's co-op, yo. Party together. Oh, that's sweet. So, thank you, Human Nature and Limited Run. This is really cool. Like, I I couldn't be happier with this. <laughs> so, okay. Now let's move on. Just need a few moments. Um... I'm going to put this somewhere else. Uh, I'm going to pause that music, put this back up, and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so this is the PlayStation Analog Controller. It was, uh, it came out before the DualShock, and that, that's like kind of blocking my face there, so 
Gonna try to. Okay, came out before the Dual Shock, but uh, you know this is a beefy boy. I mean, this thing is pretty heavy. Um, serial number two three eight seven five nine nine. Probably should have cleaned up the bottom a little bit before doing that, but oh well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so normally when I play PS1 games, I either play it on the PS3 or on my uh, PS TV, but um, obviously you're not going to be able to play peripherals when you do it that way, so I'm going to be playing with my... Uh, PS2, actually. I don't own a working uh, PS1 anymore and haven't for a long time. But uh, to be honest, the PS2 is perfectly fine for this. The only problem I've had is uh, just a tiny little bit of disk read error starting, which makes me sad. So, I mean, I've had this ps2 for a long time and uh you know fortunately from what i've seen um it's not too difficult to fix that so we should be okay okay so let's uh duck out of here nope oh there we go And just make sure that it's still visible. There we go. Oh, yeah, and I'm using my pocket station for my memory card here. And you can see, um, well, let's switch this over to digital for now. You can see that it actually recognizes it and puts the icon up there, which is really kind of cool. The uh, um, PS3 did the same thing when I was copying my saves over. Um, so I'm, I'm actually kind of pleased about that. I think I might actually uh, do a thing on, uh, on the pocket station at some point in the future, but uh, not tonight. Partially because the battery doesn't stay in on it. So, okay. So it looks like I'm recording. Got my chat up here. Fantastic. We're ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I like I said, I think part of it was because it, it, it seems like you were getting frustrated when you like after you would say man i'm i'm getting tired so like i'm i agree with you that there are some questionable design choices in that game but uh i i don't think you would have gotten anywhere near as frustrated if you were you know uh not exhausted as well Oops. We need sound. There we go. Oh, yeah. Um, also, uh, as you can see in chat there, uh, I do still have a uh, giveaway live for this last week's video. So if you want to get um, Midway Arcade Treasures 1, 2, and 3, uh, go over to Twitter and retweet uh, one of my posts of this week's video. Yeah, I, I can understand that too. Okay. So... Let's go down to option here, and <laughs> we 
we put this into oh look at that it even has a picture of the thing on there so this this switch here switches it between analog and digital mode some games won't work with it if you uh, have it in analog mode <clears throat> so okay so I'm only using one uh, one stick that's good um, pitch down turn left and right pitch up no that's not what I want um, roll left and right there we go so then this is throttle up throttle down yaw left and right cool <clears throat> I also love that the animation is uh, is going along with me <laughs> uh, target next and target previous is the hat switch cool um, missiles are right here machine guns are the trigger map okay so the map button that it's pointing to is right here so that's gonna be kind of weird but yeah yaw and throttle but how else are you really going to do that <laughs> Okay, so the uh, the hat switch there is the nipple. Yeah, I, I can kind of see that. Okay. Um, response, quick, normal, slow. Interesting. So I think we're good now. Let's exit. Oh, calibration. Cool. Release both sticks and press start. That's cool. <clears throat> In-game calibration right there. Yeah, I don't I, I don't doubt that. Like it seems like wow, I can't pull this off easily. So that's something at least. Ah, oh, geez, really? Oh, that seems like such a waste. Like, they should be able to uh, make it so that it, you know, can just be easily replaced by itself. Okay, so... Oh, we've got to use the hat switch for navigation here. There we go. Now, this is the save that I, uh, I left off with from my... Uh, uh, full playthrough last year so I'm gonna see if I can uh, load and kind of get a head start on some uh, on planes here continue <laughs> well and and in this case I think it's just basically like the uh, the, the d-pad on a normal stick so okay so this wants to start me off right at the uh, final mission which I don't necessarily want to do um, but I want to be able to use all those planes now I'll just go back to the title screen Oh, that was cool. Start game, new game. We'll go with normal difficulty. Extra. Okay. Communication mode, level five. Coup d'etat broke out in the oh. military corps' general area code NAP 2700. They saw an opportunity during a time when their leaders were away from the country on a diplomatic mission. Oh, okay. There we go. Now you're catching up. The center of administration. They seized control of important facilities in each district. They are expanding their influence while strengthening their fighting power. Their military capabilities include air and sea forces. Yeah, the only shame here is that there are, there's no like um there's no pedal option for this at all. Headquarters made a decision to use the special tactical fighter squadron Scarface, which
which consists of you and fellow pilots. How's it going, my you fellow pilots? Mission and suppress the coup d'etat immediately. You will receive all-out support from our military corps, full information regarding the rebels, full cooperation through our intelligence division, and military supplies. The situation is tense, and there is no time to waste. Take on this mission immediately. That is all. That is all. Okay, Twinkle Island. Okay, so it looks like it is still uh, keeping track of my old information. Yeah, YF-23. Um, which button goes back? There we go. Okay. So are they going to let me access all of this right off the bat? No. Dicks. Oh well. Interception of invasion unit. It's a rush sortie mission. We have received information that an enemy invasion unit is approaching our front base. It is a small unit with bombers as its main force. So, another thing that's kind of interesting is that uh, all of the face buttons are on the uh, stick already. So, I'll just have to relearn a little bit of how to play this, obviously, but, you know, that's true. That was true of um, Ace Combat 7 also. Alright, what do I want? I think I'd prefer to have the mobility. Let's go with the MIG. Alright, so first thing I need to do, let's go, there we go. Alright. Come on. How close do I have to be to lock on? There we go. Oh, that's weird. It switches to X. Okay, takes three shots, so... Wah! This is... Really tricky to get the hang of. Oh, wait, no, come on. Oh, I guess it, I gotta go after this guy. There we go. A4 should only take one or two. There we go. Ready go. Okay, come on. All right, now I'm behind the group. down. I think this guy's a little bit closer, so let's go with him. 
Ah. Dived a little too late. And that should do it. Mission accomplished! Yay! You know, I wonder if I can... You know, I could probably hold it like this instead of this. And that might feel a little bit more natural for throttling up. Yeah, well, I don't have my good planes available to me right now. <laughs> that felt satisfying, though, just kind of slapping the button. <laughs> Okay, press any button. Yeah, 1800 in damage. X29? Okay. Are they just giving that to me because I'm replaying? If so, you know, I'll, I'll take it. Do I have to buy it? I do, but it's not going to cost me that much. I'll have to grab that next round. Look at that machine. Ah, that's right. Okay. Save. Oh, jeez. Wow. I bet the laundry folks were pretty busy after that. <laughs> uh, yes, continue. Pursuit of reconnaissance unit. Our forward base reports radar contact with an enemy unit in flight within the mountain region. Enemy unit in flight. indicates that it seems to be a reconnaissance unit sent to investigate our movements. We need you to take care of this dangerous situation. Target, enemy E-767 Early Vigilante Plane Unit. In addition to the Early Vigilante Plane, the escort oh, is poised to strike. Keep your back covered. Wow. Um, did anyone ever get, like, broiled by that? Because... <laughs> I mean, were you without eyebrows for a while? Okay, here we go. Should be able to get him head on. Nope. Okay. Fine. And now we pull around. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not stop. Okay. Holy crap, how did I manage to pull out of that? <laughs> Yep, I'm working on it. There we go. Got two on my tail. I wish I had some wingmen. There we go. Superfly. Come on. I know you're leading me away from your charge, but uh, I don't care. You're a named enemy.
Dang it. He actually managed to lose me. Come on. There you are. Ah! Hold still, dang it! Gotcha. Okay, now, where is... All right. So I can't hit the map when I'm using this, like, up at the top here. <laughs> yeah, well, this is definitely not Afterburner. Thank goodness. Although I will be playing that when I get my Polymega. Because I picked it up for the 32X. Jeez, how far away are you? There we go. That guy almost got away. Now back to the others. I should have enough money for that uh, experimental aircraft, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, not so super fly anymore, are you? Senior Airman, A6, no thanks, but I get a special medal for taking down Superfly there. All right. Now I should be able to buy the X-29. Yay! Oh, this is going to be wild. <laughs> yeah, well, are you one that goes up in the aircraft? No, I don't think so. Okay, surprise attack on the supply bay. Surprise attack on the supply I bay. I just said that. We have received information that an enemy aircraft carrier has entered a port in Anchorhead Bay and is Oh, sweet. Supplied. When completed, the enemy will I know they have some planes that aren't that that are invented, so on the carrier and the supply facilities. But I also know that there's some weird crap out there. Target. 
The enemy aircraft that's like experimental and not widely known about that the they do. This is basically the Gran Turismo of flight games. <laughs> Extra precaution is necessary at the time of attack. You know what, Forte? Uh, if you do end up moving out to Wisconsin, at some point I'm going to have to take you up to the uh, um, to the Bong Memorial Air Museum in Superior. Uh, that's dedicated to uh, Richard Bong. He was a pilot during World War II, I believe. That uh, flew the P-31 Lightning. I, I, I might be off on that, but uh, yeah, he's, uh, my grandpa went to school with him, and the museum used to be in Poplar, Wisconsin, and they have a full-scale mock-up of the Lightning, um, and then shortly before I moved away from there, they moved it to Alta Superior, and now they've got a proper museum for it all. It's kind of neat. Okay, <laughs> this is going to be interesting, because, like, with the more sluggish aircraft, I, I've got a little bit more um, uh, leeway with my, uh, with my piloting skills, but something like this is going to be interesting, especially look at that stability rating. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I have to say though, that with this and using the Thrustmaster on Ace Combat 7, I almost prefer using the controller. It just feels a little bit more uh, like I can control things a little bit better. Where's this ground target? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, check out that Namco <laughs> music there. That's the stuff. Mid 90s Namco wailing. There we go. Big no, big no. <laughs> oh, that was a little sluggish uh, coming to rights. Ah. Yeah, going back in the opposite direction isn't that fast. Well, I got the better of it. Haha. <laughs> okay, where to next? <laughs> yeah, I was going to mention that there was the F-16 there, and then... Shame I'm pretty sure I can't fly into that tunnel. <laughs> I do like being able to just like do um next and previous target. Because you don't get to do that on uh, on this normally, because it you know it didn't have a digital controller to work with at the time, or uh, an analog controller to work with at the time. So the D-pad was just there for steering. So it was just cycling through your targets in one direction. But next and previous target is nice. 
There we go. My speed? Okay. I probably shouldn't slow down then. There we go. Whoa, hey! Alright, I'm gonna pause for a second. Acorns, thanks for the raid. You're turning my lights purple? <laughs> das Nerd, oh, you're the one responsible for this. Why I oughta give you a big smooch. <laughs> Hello, people. Um, I go by Tesseract E, as you can see right up there. Um, I'm really feeling the love. I appreciate that, folks. Uh, but, yeah, the lights change during a raid. Um, I have um, Philips Hue lights that uh, I've got programmed through a, uh, something called uh, Lumia. Oh, what's the, what's the name of it? Lumia Stream. That will interface with that, and then I can set set it to do certain things when I get like a raid or a follow or whatever. Um, but uh, so this month I am uh, playing games that are compatible with the uh, PlayStation analog controller for the PS1. Actually, I think I need to reset this. I think you guys might have broken Lumia's stream. <laughs> Which I'm fine. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, RNG Joe Killa. So yeah, um, playing games that uh, may or may not be compatible with the uh, with the analog controller here this this month, starting with uh, Ace Combat Two. I picked this up uh, for. 45 bucks, actually, at Game Trade in De Pere, Wisconsin. Um, and uh, decided to find a, uh, a an excuse to play it on stream. <clears throat> so that that's what we're doing here. And uh, one fun thing about playing Ace Combat is uh, Fortifier is in my chat, and he actually works on... Uh, F-16s or F-15s for a living. He's going to kill me for getting that wrong. But uh, it's always fun seeing him, uh, you know, uh, give extra information when I play. F-16s, yep. Okay. So, let's continue. It was pretty cool, though, when I was setting this up uh, and went into the uh, um, options menu, it actually pulled up a picture of this thing. Oop. We need to shoot you. And uh, as I was moving the uh, the sticks, the, the thing on the screen would move the sticks accordingly. It was kind of cool. This is the first time I've actually used this, much less on a stream. Ah, uh, dang, I thought I could get away with getting under it. <laughs> Thank you, Acorns. I appreciate that. Um, I sort of... It, it wasn't there to enjoy. It was there for me to try to... Oh, well, that's nice of them. It was more me trying to get ahead of things a little bit, because uh, I also do uh, YouTube stuff. Um, I think I'm actually going to turn this off for now. Uh, but, um, yeah, I, let's put that link out there while you guys are here. So I do YouTube stuff, and I wanted to get a little bit ahead of the game. So, um, I took a couple months off, and this is me getting back in the saddle. And I decided something that would help would be to, uh, have themes. I can skip this. So, this month's theme is the analog controller. 
Uh, next month. What do I have planned for next month again? Oh yeah, next month I'm going to be playing through some uh, PlayStation Edutainment. I picked up this huge box full of Edutainment discs, and uh, there's like 50 of 50 unique titles in it, and I really want to poke at those. So I'm going to be doing that next month. Okay, back to actual gameplay here. There we go. There we go. Found you. And now I'm going to kill you. Ooh, they're flying low. I'm staying with them. Sorry, Forte. <laughs> Whoops. That wasn't what I wanted to push. There we go. I think at some point this month I'll also haul out the... Uh, um, Thrustmaster for Ace Combat 7 again, too. Because I haven't finished the um, VR missions on that yet. And I need to do that at some point. It's going to be a while before I get to it, but um, last year I did. Uh, I went through the entire Ace Combat series on stream and I'm, I've been slowly posting those uh, archives to my YouTube channel so I need to have that in place by the time I get to Ace Combat 7 where are you? there you are come at me bro! nope too fast There we go. Bagdone. Alright. Let's head in that direction and check on... Oh, that's cool! That's really cool, Acorns. I, I'm a huge fan of Weird Peripherals. I had... I played... Um, the... Uh, uh, I, I played a couple of games with a friend using the link cable on the PS1. Um, we went out, we rented uh, Independence Day and Bushido Blade 2 and Descent. And I'm actually using a pocket station as my memory card right now. Uh, you'll see the Polymega stream when it comes out. Quite literally. Uh, that is going to be fairly shortly after it comes out. So... I will break my schedule for that. Because <laughs> I've got games for every system that it plays ready to go. And then I will uh, also do a stream for the uh, uh, light gun when it releases. There we go. No, they're not. They're set on uh, expert. Oh, wait. Dang it, you're right. I switched that to expert. But it didn't save that. Ah. Okay, thank you for making note of that fact, Null Vortex. Um, I can't change it right now, but I will change it during uh, between missions, because <laughs> I prefer expert controls. But I, I guess I'm kind of glad that I had this to get used to it. 
a little bit. Yeah, I know I've got low altitude. That's part of the point. Because then I'm going to do this. That didn't work. Oh well. <clears throat> Alright. Not going to chance it this time. <laughs> I love doing stuff like that, but uh, probably shouldn't... Uh, play around like that when I'm using the joystick. If I was on the con if I was on a con regular controller, I probably would be fine. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm glad you pointed it out, because I do prefer to have the uh, expert controls. There we go, mission accomplished. Do, 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 do. Yes, I also do Ready Go Gaming Show. And you know, if I had a YouTube ch uh, video to link to, I'd link to the one that my voice appeared in, but you still haven't uploaded it. You naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Forte. <laughs> the video was on acclaim uh, and the history of acclaim. So, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and post the link to the... Uh, um, to the playlist, Forte, so they can watch the previous ones. They're like long-form documentary things. I, I'd never be able to do something that's like 45 minutes to an hour like he's done. It's fantastic, and he gets go, uh, people to guest voice act, uh, to guest read the scripts. And uh, me and Barley helped him out with the last one. Are you talking to me? Uh... Old ass retro gamer, or are you talking to Forte? Because me, you can get it there. <laughs> Last week's video was uh, about uh, games that have been delisted from the PlayStation Network. Oh, I've got the F-16. All right. Four days going to be salty if I don't fly the F-16 at least once. So <laughs> I'll do that in the next fight. Okay, yes, continue. Whoops. There we go. So, interesting here is we've got a choice of missions. I wish I could remember which mission I did the first time I went through this. Um, probably the oil field mission. Because those are, like, wide open and fun to do. So let's go to the uh, front base. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, wait, how is... How is he not subbed? Attack on the front base. By analyzing the enemy strike pattern, our intelligence division has successfully determined the location of the enemy's front base. The operation's target this time is to attack this base and to halt the enemy's firepower in the front lines. Target, the enemy's front base. The enemy has commandeered an old castle in the hill country and is now using it as their fortress. Watch out for an attack by the enemy bombers and take extra precaution against anti-aircraft. This guy, I, I love the this guy's accent. It, like, it's kind of weird that they got someone with a slightly southern accent to do the voiceover for this. Not quite as bad as B-17 Bomber. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was just talking about playing that to, uh, sometime this month. Oh, heck yeah with support. Gotta grab Edge. She's been like a, a staple in Ace Combat. Um, cover my tail. Oops. I didn't buy the F-16. Okay, take off with support. Edge, cover my tail. F16, there we go. <clears throat> yeah, there, there is not much else like uh, Ace Combat in PSVR. It's really cool. Stop changing my targets at random. There we go. Sweet. Alright. So I'm guessing that blue chevron is Edge. Let's take some heat off of her a little bit. Because that's what wingmen do. Bulls on! for the targets. <laughs> but I don't wanna! I've got a mission, Forte! I gotta get there as quickly as possible. That's how it works, right? enemy. Sweet. Damn. Come on. 
Ooh, that was easier than Superfly. Wrong button. There we go. Ah, oh, I forgot to change my friggin' controls. So did you fly according to the rules when we were playing uh, Ace Combat 7? There we go. Mission accomplished. Do, 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 do. Tried to. And then when you stopped, was that when you actually started uh, giving me a challenge? <laughs> All right. Oh, man, that's that's money right there. Nice. Sergeant got the ricochet medal SF-35. Interesting. Okay, now before I forget... No, that's not it. That's not it either. Okay. I guess I'm going to have to save and go back to the title screen to change my controls. Nice. Okay. Options, key config, yeah. All right, go through uh, calibration again. Okay. I'm just going to go back in there again to make sure it's stuck. Okay, good, good, good. It's back on expert. I have to go through calibration again. There we go. Yeah, I think I knew Saab make, makes uh, jets. Or at least jet engines. Okay. Wait a second. Did it load settings? It did. Ha! Okay. That's where it went wrong before. Okay. So I need to just go into start game and continue. Save. Yeah. 
now we should be good. Okay, and... Hi, Siren. <laughs> I didn't realize you were back there. <laughs> All right. Breakthrough at the ravine base. Oh, yay! Trench run! I love these. The breakthrough at the ravine base. While in pursuit of an enemy transport plane, reconnaissance discovered that an enemy base is being built in a deep ravine. Our enemy seems hard pressed to construct a new base in a hurry after losing their well, polar fish. Well, duh. This time our target is the ravine base. The problem is a network of anti-aircraft missile sites surrounding the ravine region, making it impossible to carry out a bombing mission <clears> from above. <throat> to attack the base, Actually, I think I'm going to stick with the F-16. By flying at a low altitude, and then make a hit and breakaway attack. Felt a little bit more this responsive. This is the only way to attack this base. Target, the ravine base. The enemy's anti-aircraft missiles are highly accurate. Yep. And there will be no chance this is one of my favorite tropes the in the Ace Combat series, is that you have to fly down the ravine. You can't go up above the, the, the lip of the ravine. Go geese, grease lightning, burning up a quarter mile. There we go. Except I'm not going to, you know, go through this like grease lightning if I don't have to. Hey, why didn't that work? Yay, I have Roland Pitch again. Of course, I usually tend to rely on yaw a bit more in uh, trench runs, but <laughs> at least we've got the uh, stuff set up correctly now. One thing I wish they had on this and the uh, Thrustmaster was uh, one of those flip up uh, thumb guard things for the missile uh, button. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, I saw that happening. Dang it. <laughs> right? Well, right now it's dinner making music, but yeah, I get it. Oh, fair enough. Okay. But yeah, I can also definitely feel that this is analog control. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, just a, a digital pretending to be analog.
Yeah, I'm pulling up. Don't get your knickers in a twist. Oh, now it's pulled down. Jeez, make up your mind, woman. Oof, there we go. Oh, that's... Yeah, it's it's a lot tougher to play this with the uh, with the the stick. I I love the feel of it, but um, yeah, because there's so much motion and you you aren't just like nudging a thumbstick. Definitely more of a challenge. It's a good thing I'm good at this game. <laughs> hey, there we go. Now we're getting into the SUs even though it's just the 25. Nighttime Pursuit Plane. <clears throat> or Attack on the Mine. Nah, no, let's go with the Nighttime Pursuit. Save. else I want to buy really. Now for the pursuit I probably do want the uh nighttime pursuit why U29 was it? Our successive attacks have been effective at pushing back the enemy's front line and they are now beginning to retreat. Just a while ago reconnaissance caught sight of what seemed to be a fleeing unit. Take off immediately and pin them down. Target I got your fleeing unit six seven early vigilante Wait. fleeing unit. This is our first no. nighttime take. No. Unfortunately, the enemy is equipped with a jamming device, so we expect ah, our jamming devices. to be okay. reduced. Don't get taken by surprise, and be sure to watch your back. Don't get taken by surprise. It's a big satisfying buttons. Uh, yes. X-29. That's what it was. Okay. So what I want to do is find the aircraft that are jamming my radar. It's usually a couple of seven seven six sevens really high up. Come on. Come on. There we go. No intention of doing so. There we go. Ha! <laughs> 
Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha! Okay, there we go. Well, you know, those runnings are what my wingman is there for. This guy. I'm staying with him. I'm not letting him get away. about the F4. Thought I saw a blur. There we go. There you are. There are the 767s. Whoops, wrong button. Nobody gives me the raspberry. You know, at first tonight I was wondering, you know, like, hmm, am I going to play Ace Combat 2 for the whole thing or switch to something else after a little while? Then I noticed that my finish time on uh, on my last playthrough was less than two hours. So <laughs> I think I'll stick with it tonight. See if I can just complete the entire game with this. I will not do the same thing tomorrow night for Ace Combat 3, because that is a much longer game. But I've got something else in mind there. Escorting our attack operation. Oh. Sounds great. Let's save first. Okay. Target, the enemy fighter unit. As you know, this shipbuilding facility is an important strategic base for the enemy's carrier mobile fleet and supply ships. Escorting our bomber unit is your first priority, but try to sink as many enemy warships as possible. We wish you luck. Sounds like fun. Okay. <clears throat> uh, 
Yeah, let's do support. Um... <laughs> you handle the escort part. <laughs> I hate escort missions as much as the next gamer. Got quite a few friends. Oh yeah, those would be the bombers. And the fighter escort. Dang. That's my job. Oh, jeez. Uh, so you ever have one of those things that comes up in your mind kind of unbidden and just slightly uh, it makes you wince? Well, you know how uh, when people, uh, you know, the whole leet speak thing where you replace one with an L and all that good stuff. Well, my brain did that with the F-A- 1-8-D. Come on. Get him. There we go. So, kind of, you know, fell 8 d I'm sure you can put that together. <laughs> okay. Go. Whoops. Wasn't locked on yet. Let's go after another F A eighteen. Uh, no. One more. Bullseye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Definitely want support. And I'm still going to have her set on an escort mission rather than cover my tail. Is he on my right or on my left? Make up your mind. Oh, 
There we go. Yeah, let's go after this guy next. I mean, he's right there. Take out an ad. I got my own problems. There we go. I think I got him with one of the missiles. Targets or ground targets? It doesn't really show up very well on the long range map. Air targets. Ugh. And they're right on Edge's ass. Be nice to Edge's ass. Hoping I got him. No, it's August. myself on that one. I was trying to go straight at that helicopter I passed up and... <laughs> yeah, I didn't need to see that again. I was there! With support. Take care of the escort duties. Let's see here. Yeah, I'll go with the F-16. Tail fire. 
Next. Oof. That's a bit of a furball out there. Hey, Edge, you know that escort thing you were supposed to do? Go do it. Wall of Fog at 12 o'clock. but only 9% body damage. I can deal with that. Ooh! Named enemy. It's from Zone of the Enders. Mission accomplished? No! I wasn't done yet! Oh. I've never been so disappointed to win a round. Well, no. Scratch that. Uh, what is that? Uh, virus Inc. Where you have to, like, design a virus that takes out humanity? That, um... I felt bad winning that game. All right. Well, yay, we won. Boo, I didn't get my special uh, award. Staff Sergeant. Jorge, if you're still listening and I'm creeping up on you, I'm at Staff Sergeant already. High Altitude Chase. High Altitude Chase. The image of an enemy unit in flight was sent to us by a reconnaissance satellite. From its size, the image appears to be a bomber unit in a moving operation. We 
have also discovered some unidentified aircraft mm -hmm. found in our data. No further details are known. Oh, that sounds like we fun. We want you to pursue and eliminate the targets. Target, the enemy bomber unit. At high altitudes, our plane stalls easily. Treat her gently and watch your airspeed. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm going to go with the... Uh... X-29 again here. Seems like it would be the better choice for something like this. Well, what do you know? Another great thing about these uh, early PlayStation games with the Red Book audio is you can pop them in your CD player and listen to these jams whenever you want. <laughs> I used to do that when I was commuting between Madison and Milwaukee. Got some fond memories of uh, Tale of the Sun, Jet Moto, and Wipeout on my CD player. Where is it? Ah, still not close enough to actually be on my uh, scope. There it is. XB70. Oh nice, they replaced the ground texture with clouds. <laughs> Oh, no, come on. Dex. I'm trying to level out. <sighs> Fine. Keep my speed up. There we go. Crap. I didn't want to pass him up. Let him get a little more distance on me here first. There we go. Mm. There we go. That didn't do it. Oh, shoot. Which basically means I've lost the mission. Well, mission over, not mission failed.
I wonder if there was a better plane I could have been using there. Yeah, only got one of the blackbirds. Oh well, still good haul. Wait, I thought Master Sergeant... Did I skip one? Yeah. Yay, TNDF3. Because I thought Tech Sergeant was after Staff Sergeant. Yeah, at the end of the last uh, mission, I was Staff Sergeant, and now I'm the Master Sergeant. I don't think that's how promotions work. I know! I was looking forward to hitting Tech Sergeant so I could mention that. Remember, your target is the enemy's defense force and not the base itself. Yeah, yeah. Try not to damage the base facilities. Identify your targets carefully, then attack. <laughs> I'll, I'll fly the F-16 for you, Forte. <laughs> That'll make you feel better. <laughs> okay. I have a specific thing I, I saw on the map that I want to go after first. There are a couple of named F-16s out here. And maybe they'll only show up after I take out the other ones. Oh, there he is. Okay, or one of them at least. Alright, so where's the other one? KFC 7. Okay, well... But I didn't think there were colonels in the Air Force. Oh yeah, there are. Never mind. Okay. Where are you? Yep, that one was yours. Good job, Edge. Go. 
Well, if they're tracking me, then that means they don't want to uh, veer off. So I'm gonna fire a missile before I veer off. <laughs> Ooh! Passed you up. You jackass! There we go. Probably not gonna hit him. Come on. There we go. That'll do. That's the MIG. There's the other one. I have you now. Okay, now we can do our mission. Hey, welcome back, Sentai Striker. Yeah, I'm playing more Ace Combat, but with a different toy this time. <laughs> I'll be playing some Ace Combat 3 tomorrow night, too. the uh, analog stick. It's a it's a beefy piece of hardware. I'm, uh, it's kind of cool. I just picked it up about a month or so ago. to damage the facility if we can avoid it. It'll be the English version, because um, that's what I have. But that's fine, because I wouldn't be playing the whole thing anyway. Yes, it did. No, it did not. Okay. Ah, that was a little risky, but it paid off. back really hard. Oh, oh yeah, as far as like missions and stuff. Yeah. Um like there are 15 less missions or something like that and no cut scenes or anything like that. Story's pretty basic. So, yeah. It's only one disc. <laughs>
Well, okay, I got a question for you, Sente. Uh, is it, are, are like the cutscenes, and is it one of those Japanese games where most of it is in English? Because if it is, I'll try to hunt it down. Just at the very least for my collection. Um, but if it's one of those things where I wouldn't be able to play it without knowing a lick of Japanese, then it's probably not worth it. Woohoo, 99,000. Where him the money? Still Master Sergeant. Didn't skip a rank again this time. <laughs> F117. Oh, I had to take down both of them to get the medal. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I, I'd want to be able to play it uh, if I went to actually track it down. Like, I, I picked up the... Uh, Japanese version of um, Devil Dice, Sai, and even found Sai Jumbo. You don't need to know any Japanese to play those games. Destroying the enemy's prototype. But also, yeah, Forte, if you end up getting stationed in uh, Madison, the there are uh, two really good used game stores out there that I go to on a regular basis. Three if you count pre-played East, but pre-played West is much better. But pre-played West is where I actually got your copy of Sonic CD. It would be a great threat to us if they are able to roll out these new bombers. We want you to attack the production hangar, seek out the prototype bomber, and destroy it. Target. Prototype bomber. Prototype bomber. The experimental <laughs> plane is probably housed in one of the hangars lining the base. First bomb the hangars and identify the exact location of the plane. Um, yeah. Edge, you got my ass. Um, now nah, I'll stick with the F-16. Toy box. Toy box. Toy box. Screw you! Man, those trumpets. <laughs> Bam! Yeah, I've got uh, Assault Horizon Legacy 2. I just didn't want to stream that because streaming from the 3DS is iffy. Um, and I played this and Assault Horizon, so... <laughs> you know what? I might try just doing a straight recording of it without streaming it at some point. Ah, I'm too close. Get some distance. You know, I didn't mind it as much as I thought I was going to. I did actually mention it in my uh, latest YouTube video, though, because it's been delisted from the PlayStation Network. Wasn't sure if that plane was 
labeled or not. Yeah, this the stage length was what got me the most. I mean, literally 35, 40 minute stages? No thank you. Oops. Ah. Come on. Come on. Target. Okay, it's going to be in the last one I actually open up, isn't it? Well, I mean, technically, yes, but I mean... Nope, that's not it. There we go. There we go. It's a shame it doesn't go on there like on Star Fox where it's like boom, boom, boom. It's so satisfying. Senior Master Sergeant. <laughs> Assault of the mobile fleet. We have received information that the enemy's mobile fleet is on Assault the of the mobile fleet. To We're going to pepper them with ammunition after joining forces with their frontline troops. Your mission this time is to attack the enemy's mobile fleet and put a stop to the sea invasion operation. Hangman, huh? The enemy's mobile fleet. Okay. Grab edge, cover my tail, F-16. Mobile fleet. <laughs> oh, it's Seagull? All we need to do is feed it some Alka Seltzer and you know, we're good. Oh, hi. Zoe again.
Gotcha. Okay. I'm I'm trying. Don't tell me to aviate when I'm doing it right now. Now he's right in front of us! There we go. Do 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 do. Mobile Fleet, 3 a.m. Crap. Thought I'd get under that missile. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Mm. Wasn't paying attention to my speed. You know, yelling at me to pull up is far less useful than saying, hey, increase your speed before I stall. <laughs> so. I usually have a pretty good eye for, eye for altitude. That's taking up my entire screen. I gotta get so again. Gives up easily, doesn't she? All right, let's uh, let's clear the sky a little bit first.
Gotcha. Okay. Alright, now we go after the fleet. I'm not bingo, I've got plenty of fuel left. Dang. Oh well. At least I got him. Hoping I'd run into you. Now, where's your friend? There, there we go. Ooh. That just clipped me, but it did enough. No, mine! Filthy kill stealing wingman! really careful about these boats because I can't afford any damage. <laughs> some distance. For a moment, I wasn't sure who was exploding. <laughs> oh, I get to attempt a landing now, huh?
Why'd they start me off in such a weird position relative to the carrier? pass. Should be able to do it on the next one. <laughs> ah, dang it. Well, at least I haven't crashed, but I might run out of time. because they started me out at a weird angle. Oh well. Again, at least I didn't crash. I think you're uh, mixing your mythology there. So just for that? <laughs> SF39. Zoe Captain. No, I mean the whole you were the chosen one line is from Star Wars. You were the chosen one, Anakin! And hey, he did bring balance to the Force. There were too many Jedi and not enough Sith. You dumbasses. Breaking into the enemy submarine base. Ooh, another trench run. We discovered the enemy submarine base deep among the cliffs stretching directly inland from the inland. Directly we inland. information from our <laughs> intelligence division on submarines loaded with deadly cruise missiles. It is considered that this base is likely to be the enemy's main area of operation. We want you to go in for a full attack. Target, the enemy submarine base. Because the air above the base is protected by a similar yeah, yeah. aircraft missile network, that scene in the ravine base, flying at a high altitude will be dangerous. <laughs> Bingo, directly inland. Any small navigational You're cleared to take out the submarine, to Rogue 2. Concentrate on your navigation. One night stand. I I love that this soundtrack has like submarine radar pings as part of the music. It's so cool. Enjoy your dinner. Warning. 
where's the way forward? Dang it. Okay, well I guess I'm heading in the right direction. Texture is pretty cool. We got this. Almost there. These are tense, but I love the, the, the tension of the trench runs. Thanks for the follow, Boat Boy. Sweet. Do, 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 do. First Sergeant, EF-2000, meh. Nah. The big red candy colored button! Okay, take over the hydraulic power plant. Taking over the hydraulic power plant. Stop copying me. You to take over the hydraulic power plant facility located in a secluded spot in the mountains. Tackle At least I can go over the mountains the at this point. You attack the enemy arms production base without damaging the base itself. You must now concentrate your force in attacking the enemy's escort fighter unit and their attack facilities. Got it. Target power plant defense units. There are many enemy fighters guarding the plant, and there seem to be a large number of anti-aircraft weapons positioned around no the No kidding! Base. Why would they this ever do that? You will face heavy resistance from both air and <coughs> Give it your best. We're counting on your safe return. Do I have to give it my best? Can I give them my worst? Would that work? I mean, it's kind of the same thing. Edge. Cover my tail. Taking the F-16 this time. Fired a missile at me, but they only hit me with a uh, gun 
round, so... There's Zoe again. Well, this track sounds a whole lot like um, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Well, at least the violin section did. Okay, that was the target. Good. I wasn't 100% on that. But I figured taking out the missile battery would be a good idea. Can ignore those. They don't tend to actually like unmoor the helicopters at all. They just kind of hover there and fire at you. So if you let one live, it's not coming after you. Okay. Hoping I could get away with that. I did not. Got the wrong, wrong target. That's coming out of my paycheck. The next targets. <laughs> yeah, I've crashed more than him, though.
You know, the new Top Gun movie when when they had the uh, um, trailer at uh, Comic-Con. I was joking about it being called uh, Goose's Revenge. You gave me up for dead. You didn't even try. Dang. Oh, come on. There we go. Jeez. That shouldn't have been that difficult. It's a freaking ground target. Shoot. I overshot that. Let's come back. Okay. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. I have, I'm not familiar with that movie. Sounds vaguely familiar, but I have I definitely haven't seen it. Oh, there it is. Shoot. Almost had it. Urgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I make more than enough money. <laughs> nice job covering my tail there, uh, Edge. Did you enjoy it? Gotta get Zoe again. No, that didn't work. Oh, wow, I did get her. Okay, cool.
Oh, I didn't take him out? There we go. Okay. On with the mission. <clears throat> well, I've got a chance to do it right this time. That's cool. I don't... I haven't really watched too many Tarantino movies, and the one... Whoops. The ones that I have watched, it's been a while. Like, it's probably been a decade since I, I watched... Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I know my altitude was too low. I was friggin' stalling. Like Joseph. Crash just about as hard, too. There we go. Okay, on to the next one. Oh, there's that age 64 again. Oh, I'm sure there are, there are places I could go to see it if I wanted to, but it takes a lot to get me into a theater. The last one, and you know, this isn't a very good example, but the last the last movie I went to see in the theater was. Uh, um, Avengers Endgame. Uh, but before that, it had been a couple of years since I had gone to a movie in the theater. to do two missiles there, but oh well, it got the job done. Yeah, they have something like that at, uh, nearby, but the, uh, the one that I usually go to is on the other side of Milwaukee. Uh, it's a small, like, three or four, uh, um, room theater that, uh, they, they also do the whole dinner theater thing. Good food, too. I usually sit at these, uh, bar chairs bar stool things with low backs, but uh, they're comfy enough. Okay, it was the gun that I had to target. But I guess they had to do something to, uh, you know, get people to keep going to theaters. <laughs> Yeah, 
And it's kind of a clever way of doing it. Making it an experience more than just going to see a movie. my altitude is. Well, right now. I know I was bitching about it earlier, but... No, I was bitching about you not telling me my speed earlier. That's right. Okay. Let's go after this one. There we go. You know, I've been meaning to do that. Uh, old ass retro gamer stopped by earlier, and he's been uh, talking about how using the PSVR with uh, 3D Blu rays is a neat experience. And I uh, thought that might be an interesting thing to try at some point. I also rarely watch Blu-rays, although I did just the other day when <laughs> I got the uh, special edition of the Deep Space Nine documentary. There we go, mission accomplished. Do, 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 do. This is really, like, my shoulders are kind of tense because I'm sitting forward to be able to uh, to use this. You know, normally if I was playing this on my own, I wouldn't be sitting forward. I'd just have it on my lap. But I want you guys to be able to see what I'm doing, because it's part of the point. <laughs> well, um, I've got uh, plans for the next three years. So... <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to, uh, to keep it up and keep doing the, uh, I'll be doing Sundays and Monday nights here, and then I'll still be doing my uh, first and third Tuesday nights on 1UP Heroes. Um, the plus dives I used to do, I'm doing on 1UP Heroes now. And then I'm also uh, doing um, Ant Stream. Ooh, F-15S. Neat. I've been doing ant stream videos there, too. Silo base or transport plane unit. I think I want to go after the transport plane unit this time. Oh, I'm creeping up on the complete time, but I doubt I'm going to get done with eight missions in four minutes. <laughs> Whoops, that's not the one I wanted to do. That is. Pursuit on the enemy's transport plane unit. You know, to I'm totally fine with that. I, it's just, I never set anything like that up. Like, I've never set up that or Patreon or anything like that. Because, for the most part, I, I don't think I've got enough people that would actually give a shit to do it. But something like merch doesn't cost me anything to set up, and if only one person uses it... It doesn't seem presumptuous like a Discord channel would. So, um, yeah, I'll, I'll look into it. Um, all of the Tesseract imagery I use is stuff I find elsewhere, though, so I'd have to figure out something else on that line. Cover my tail. I'll stick with the F-16. Uh, brief stretch there. Okay. That's 
what I get for not paying attention to the briefing. There we go. Oh, come on, cut it out. Did I get him? Nope. Okay. Stop doing that. There we go. Nope. That might do it though. Okay. There you are. These guys are behind me. There we go. I'm working on it. It's a slippery bastard. I can't see his orientation very well in the dark. Because basically, I, I usually try to wait until they're not turning, until they're either going right toward me or right away from me. And it's hard to tell that when it's so dark. Doctor 2000. Come on, stop. No, this one's mine. There we go. Had me going in loops. There we go. Okay, now can we go on with our mission? Fair enough. Maybe I'll see if uh, Blitzy can come up with an idea, although I don't think she does portraits quite so much. I do actually have a, a, a portrait of myself, but I don't think I'd be able to be allowed to use it for commercial purposes. Um, a long time ago, I entered a contest uh, for the uh, Powers series that was on the PlayStation Network, um, and I... I was one of the ten winners, and uh, Brian Michael Bendis drew um, the picture that I had sent in for the contest. It's really cool, but like I said, I don't think I'd be allowed to use it for commercial purposes because it was drawn by Brian, Brian Michael Bendis. planning to do the same thing I am. Come on. There we 
go. There we go. Saw the blips. Alright. Should see them soon. Where are they? There we go. Take a crack at it. <laughs> what? That missed. The other one. There he is. Okay. There we go. Mission accomplished. Whew. Second Lieutenant. Death Rave 2000? Yes, YF-23! Woohoo! Oh, it wasn't Doctor 2000, it was Death Rave 2000. Alright, I gotta buy a YF-23 here, hold on. And save. And take a sip of water. assembling their air power in preparation for a counterattack on our invasion forces. We must attack hey, I've got an idea, Doss Nerd. I could go ahead and, uh, you know, we will fly at try to see if I could rig a shirt to do this. In order to avoid radar detection, we will make a surprise attack on the enemy <laughs> before they have a chance to counterattack. Target. Uh, enemy garrison. I think I have. It is, is that compatible with this? Life, but we I don't think I saw it on the enemy's list. radar in order to avoid any possible resistance. Take a <laughs> plan and proceed with care. Let's 
see. Yeah, Warhawk isn't compatible with this, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would totally do that. I, I have Warhawk for the PS3, and I really enjoyed that. Um, but I don't have it for the PS1. I would have gone out and grabbed it, because when after I got this, I picked up a whole bunch of games that were compatible for it that I didn't already own. <clears throat> <laughs> but I played your favorite sound. <laughs> All right, YF twenty three, baby. Mind. Sometimes I wish I could just turn off that alarm. Yeah, I know my altitude is low, and then you yell at me if my altitude is too high because this is a height-restricted level. Make up your damn mind. do skin dancing here. Oh, jeez. I was actually kind of surprised you hadn't whipped it out at some point during the stream, so... enemies. Yes, please. Oh, I have 23s. Thank you. 
kind of neat how their uh, target chevron disappears from my radar after they get out to, to a certain distance because they've got stealth capabilities. Still, dang it. Okay. Unless these guys are more YF-23 FFFs. Nope, I don't think they are. So I am just going to give you a pass. So now I've got the opposite problem. I can't see what their name is because it's too bright. Pulling up on the wrong stick. Ow. Screw it. I'm just gonna go right for the target. Catch me if you can, Bishis. Oh, I got radar spiked. Okay.
Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> Missile resistant. There we go. Just screw it all. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. Landing. Ah, they put me off t off center again. Maddening. There we go. Well, I did it this time. I wouldn't call that successful. It was adequate. I'm on the ground, I'm safe. But I'm only halfway on the runway. <laughs> By the way, Dots Nerd, how's the uh, how's the stream been doing as far as like smoothness tonight? I changed a couple of settings around to try to get better audio, and I wasn't sure if that would affect like the upstream bandwidth at all. It doesn't look like I've dropped any frames, but that doesn't always tell me what I need to know. Of course they do. Take off immediately. Okay. Be sure to guard our recovery unit as well thank as you, thank you. the enemy's ground unit. Target the enemy's air fighter and ground units. Our operation will fail if our recovery unit is unsuccessful or if the enemy ground unit reaches our reconnaissance plane first. Check out the situation and respond accordingly. Good luck. You got it. Yes, support. And you handle the escort. Yeah, I think it is. Cool. That'll make things easier. Come on. 
see some more targets behind me, but I'm going to uh, keep going forward for now. Ooh. What is the Elder Scrolls Anthology cover? Is it everything from Arena to Skyrim, or um, just the more recent games? Because I think they've given away like Arena and Daggerfall on their site for free before. I actually have a, an original CD of Battlespire uh, that I bought a long time ago. Shit! Ah. Yeah, and those are kind of considered like black sheep. <laughs> not true Elder Scrolls games, so not entirely surprised. But otherwise it's got the, yeah, Arena, Dagger, Fulton, Morrowind, Oblivion, and Skyrim. Yep, those are the big ones. I could never really get into Morrowind. And I didn't care for Oblivion, but I've played the hell out of Skyrim. Like, hundreds of hours played the hell out of Skyrim. I platted Skyrim. <laughs> This time I'm gonna go and turn around and take out some of these rear facing enemies really quick before I move on. Dang it. Where is it coming from? These guys are pointing away from me. Oh. Come on. There you go. I don't mind puzzle solving in dungeons. I just didn't like the uh, um, the way, it, like the control scheme and everything. Oh, 
Ah, mission failed. Dang it. <sighs> of course it is. I actually have um, Skyrim VR on PSVR, which is kind of cool. I haven't played too far into it yet, but I've enjoyed what I've played so far. Okay, um, which mission is this again? 15. I don't have enough time to finish this tonight. So, um, I might finish this tomorrow night then. And uh, then go into a little bit of uh, Ace Combat 3 or try some other game. Because I, I like the idea of actually playing this to completion. Uh, and, you know, while I planned on Ace Combat 2 tonight and Ace Combat 3 tomorrow night, I've got some other stuff that I could do instead and, uh, might be kind of fun. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to call it a night. Let's see who we've got that we can raid. Okay, I raid Forte all the time, and I really do want to watch him play Blaster Master, but because I raid him all the time, I'm going to go with someone else tonight. Um, I'm going to go with Nathan Sifu, who's playing Katana Zero on hard mode. I've been watching his VODs of it. It's just a lot of fun to watch. So... Get that raid going. Thank you to everybody who stopped by tonight. Thanks for uh, aiming that raid in my direction, Doss Nerd. Um, I will be returning tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central. And then Tuesday night this week, I'll be on uh, One Up Heroes at 8 p.m. Central. So uh, you, get me, you get three streams this week. Um, and... I will do my best to uh, to hold to the two nights a week schedule in the future, so uh, it won't be another like several months gap. I'll still be doing my April uh, break that I've been doing, but that's that'll just be one month. <laughs> so, all right, thanks again, and I will catch y'all next time.